like analysis game of this pig match? Sure. Uh, I think uh, since I spawned here, that I either spawned on that gen or that gen. Because typically that's how spawns work. Alright, I'm gonna crouch because Whisper's ticked on. They're still on the gen, so I can ambush. Oh, there's three of them. Wow, okay. She's slow vaulted, which makes me wonder if she has lithe. I should have swung into that. I forgot I had enduring on. I feel like she has lithe. No, she has dead heart. Okay. Uh, the slow vault made me think she was saving lithe or something. This cloud is very poorly body blocking. Let's slug for a bit here. Let's hope she'd go for the pallet so I could get it out of the way. Oh, Z wall infinite. Hell yeah. Alright, I'm gonna hit her just for pressure, but I need to go get this person before they unbreakable. Or get healed. Uh, okay, Mega's throwing. That's cool. Dead hard. Nope, alright. Well, two free hits. Just for this thing. I love that speed, dude. I don't have barbecue, so I'm not really sure where to go. I don't know if it's worth popping this gen. I think they moved. I was gonna say they moved in that direction, so there's probably a generator over there that's better suited. This mid gen. Yeah, it looks fine. God window's not open, that's good. I'm not gonna bother. This is fine. That gen doesn't have enough progress to bother popping. And giving up chase on this mech who's injured. Let's see if she has Dead Hard, okay. So that's Fang and Meg with Dead Hard. Um, okay. Dedicated. Everyone loves a good dedicated. I'll start moving back towards this hook, but I'm going to check this middle gen to see if it's worth popping now. Scratch is moving towards the unhook. Oh, what the hell, I just got stuck on. Scratch is moving towards the unhook, I believe. Nope. Get the dead hard. I'll slug her. I'm fine with that. Move back over here. They're healing. Alright. New target. Sounds good. So somebody's gonna waste their time picking up Fang. What? Okay. Free pallet. I wanna keep chasing her if she's gonna keep giving free pallets. I'm gonna take it this way. Because it gives her less of a chance of finding another pallet by the time I catch her again. Because she already dropped the pallet over there. So if I turn that around, I know God Window's not open. So by turning that loop around, she might not she might not have been able to make it to something, but she did. Oh well. Little moonwalk there. So we haven't actually popped anything, but gens are going off. I just wanted to drop this. I think I can ambush this. Okay. Forces her to leave the pallet, which is nice. I kind of actually... What are you doing? I kind of wish I'd gotten her to drop Cowtree pallet now. Oh. So we already know that she broke both pallets over here. Or, she dropped both pallets and I broke them. So all she has is that pallet she just dropped. And I think with Bloodlust I can reach her. They're wasting a lot of time getting hats off right now. If you're looking to slow the game down, I think the two gears add-ons are the best. Oh wow, somebody rescued quickly there. Who was it, the uninjured person? Well, I would love to go after the person who rescued, but I literally do not see them, so. I feel like I have enough pressure with the hats on to pick up here and eat a DS. Okay, it gets it out of the way. 
for later. I'm gonna drop chase on her. Well, depends on where she chases. If I can get Cowtree Pallet out of her, that's good enough for me. Show my red stain in the moonwalk. Didn't really go for it, but taking it this way is better anyways. Alright, one of them got their hat off. That's pretty sad. There we go. There's the fourth. You don't always have to put, you know, hats on all four of them. You can double hat somebody if you really want to, but... I try to waste all the survivor's time. The other hat came off. It leaves us with just one. That's sad, but wasted a lot of time. I almost don't want to do this loop. It's a little too brutal. Oh, right, she doubled back. She's got the pallet, so I don't catch her. Which is why I'm saying I'm not sure I really want to commit to this, but... It gets the pallet out of the way. There's a generator or two over here, so... I think it's fine to run. Alright, I was about to say, if that's still not entity blocked, I'm going to be real mad. I have, like, a decent-ish 3-gen set up there. No, no confusion? Okay. Well. Alright, see you, Dan. Moonwalk there for easy hit. Do I have basement? Nope. Look her back in the corner to waste their time if they go for the save. Give me a little bit more time. Really wishing I had barbecue here. So that gen hasn't been worked on. That one's been sitting about the same. Alright. We have a pretty good 3-gen here. So I'll just defend it. Alright, they got their hat off, so... Let's crouch and let them come to me. It does also deny the borrow time if they have it. Not that I'm tunneling, but, you know. There's still one hat out, but we still have a little bit of pressure. And it bought us enough time to get multiple hooks, so I'm completely okay with it. Hi. Ooh, a little farm. I'm gonna crouch to deny borrow time. Uh, excuse me? Alright, apparently I did not deny borrow time. So that's my mistake. Thankfully she didn't entity block or abuse. Dead hard. Nope. Okay. I thought I did it fast enough to get the terror radius to go away though. Before I made it to the hook, but I guess not. That was too slow. Wow! Somebody's got to have something to get that gen done quick. Like, that quickly? Somebody has something. That's pretty insane. What the hell? Remember, she has dead hard. Get her to use it. When you're chasing in places that you know are, are dead zones, like this. Like, I know there's no pallets back here. I've broken all of them. You see, I didn't chase directly behind her. I chased kind of, like, to the side. Because there's a window there that she can still use. So I wanted to, like, if she's over there running and I'm over here, she can't run to the window or else I just smack her in the face. So I'm kind of trying to chase while also cutting her off. It doesn't work all the time. Sometimes it works. And it's cool. Not chasing her. I need to stay near my three gens. Or right, wait, my three gens gone. So never mind. I could just <laughs> chase wherever. I guess. One is a hat. One's hooked, and one's being chased. So I don't think the gen's gonna get done super quickly, unless that person's suiciding with the hat on. But 
It is a possibility. She doubled back. Nope. She's moving towards the unhook. Which could end up well for end up working out well for me. Wait, did she not dead hard the last time I hit her? I don't know why she didn't go for that pallet. But whatever. My hook spawns are pretty bad over here. They healed under hook, so they're still over there. So maybe I should have taken her to that hook. I just saw Fang in my peripheral. She's right here. I know she doesn't have sprint burst, so I can swing easily. She's gonna go for the window. Yeah. Double back. No triple. Okay. She does still have dead hard, but there's no pallets in this area. Scratch marks over there, so I think there's somebody else. Dead hard. Other hat is off. I think she's dead on hook, right? Why am I hooked so bad? What the heck? That sounds poppable. It is. And now we just chase what we saw. Hi. Oh, that's a Fang. I thought that was a Yui. Because the colors. Oh, there's Claudette as well, so nobody's on gens. Nice. So we have everybody off of gens right now. So unless that last one's 99, I think we can get both of them. Assuming no hatch stuff happens. Which it could. Once again, I'm gonna kinda chase not directly behind her to try and cut her off. Can't tell if she doubled back. She did. Where's she going? She's got nothing to work with back here. She's going for the window, shockingly. It's not a god window, but it's still decently strong. There's nothing back here. She doesn't seem to be aware of that, but... I am. She has dead hard. Uh, I mean, it's possible if that last guy has like a toolbox and resilience that he could get that gen done. He's probably on that farthest gen. If any of them. That one's still popped. So we'll go check over there. There's Hatch. People rem remember that one. No reason to pop it, it's the last person alive. And uh, I think that's a 4k. Now I can pop it. I mean, this is a decently sized map, so I got pretty good RNG on that, as far as boxes go. And running double box slowdown is pretty brutal, especially on a larger map like that. <sighs> yeah. It's only two DSs. Two iron wells, I didn't really notice that. You're welcome. 